Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I created this like kind of dramatic, spooky season, goth feeling. I don't know, that's how I'm feeling. I just feel very goth inside lately. I'm feeling a little dark and I'm doing a lot of healing to bring the light in, which we'll talk about that in a second because I'm bringing you a chit chat get ready with me today where I created this makeup look using some newer products that I've been trying recently, but also new products that I haven't tried at all. A lot of these products are from Ulta. Some of them are from the drugstore. And then I have a mix of things that I recently bought at Sephora that I've had my hands in that I maybe haven't necessarily spoken upon in recent videos. So this is a lot of new new, which I hope that you guys enjoy. I do rant a little bit, but I do talk a lot about the makeup, the techniques, and I had a lot of fun creating this makeup look. This is probably going to be a lengthy video, so grab your drink, grab a snack, grab whatever it is, and let's hop into the video. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time a new video goes live here on my channel. I'm so happy with how my makeup came out. And let me tell you, when I sat down to film this video, I was very much in the mood to chat, but I was not in the mood to do my makeup because I'm just feeling, I have some thoughts on my brain, but sometimes just sitting down and doing your makeup is really all that you need. This shirt is so weird. Um, but I rented it and so I'm gonna wear it. I don't know, it's growing on me by the minute, but like my seamless, seamless, my strapless bra is like kind of hanging out. I don't know, I thought it was like a cute twist on a sweater. If you don't know what rented means, I rent from Rent the Runway. I get eight pieces a month. Best thing I've ever done, honestly, because if you're someone like me, I get very easily bored of clothes and that's not sustainable, but this is very sustainable. So I'm still drinking these. I feel like you may think that I drink one of these every single day, but I really only drink them on the days that I'm off. I don't know why I'm explaining myself, but I'm still drinking them and I very much like it. And my favorite flavor, Celsius, if you don't know what this is, is sparkling orange. I feel chatty today. I feel sad today. I feel a whole lot of emotions today, which is why I thought it would be perfect to do a chit chat get ready with me. I put my hyaluronic acid by Good Molecules mixed in with a little bit of vitamin C powder from the new Co. And now I just need to put a little bit of sunscreen on. So I'm gonna dampen my face a bit with the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. Tatcha, the water cream to add some hydration to my face. I'm gonna go outside today and I'm gonna go for a walk. And that has just been my mood lately, trying to put myself first. And that's bothered quite a few people. While I feel bad, I just, I can't let the people pleasing person inside of me bend. If you have been watching Keeping Up With My Channel, you know that my dad recently passed in January. And if I take a step back, like I know there are people who are suffering immensely in this world, especially with the Israel and Palestine war going on. Like I know that there are way worse things in life, but still I cannot belittle my feelings for my own mental health. I hope that that makes sense. When I take a step back and look Look at my world. I need the healing. So I'm being selfish. This is my selfish healing era. I'm using the La Roche Posay SPF 50. I recently bought this on Amazon. After I got a facial while on vacation in Vegas, my facialist there told me I need to be wearing SPF 50 every day. And so who am I to go against what a professional says? So that's what I'm doing. I've been taking really long walks. And when I say really long, like an hour and 15, an hour and a half, like sometimes two hours, being outside in the sun with nature, my thoughts. A lot of the times I've been walking and calling my mom. I called my sister on my last walk or I'll call my aunt. Just like calling people that I love and wish I had more time for. Lily Henriksen, Banana Break. And it's nice to talk to them because they are living every day thinking about my dad. And I find that in grief, it is so freaking lonely. Who doesn't want to say anything because they're afraid of saying my dad's name and me busting out into tears? Like who just feels awkward and just doesn't know how to breach it? Or honestly, quite frankly, who doesn't think about it at all because it doesn't affect their day-to-day -day lives. And I totally get it. I'm using the Akar Lip Restoration. If you've never suffered loss, like it's hard to understand. I give people the grace. Like I don't get mad at people for not asking me how I'm doing, but I do get a little upset with people when they expect more of me and tell me that I can be doing more when I really feel like I'm doing the most and I'm really at my like wits end because I just can't handle anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this foundation on. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I am in the shade Vienna. I don't know what it is. I've talked a lot of shit about this foundation. 
because I just really didn't like it for the longest time, but I don't know. It's just doing something to my skin recently and I'm loving it. But before we even throw it on, I did buy these two travel makeup brush sets. I bought them during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and I bought them to take them to Las Vegas when we went on vacation and I didn't bring either one of them because to be honest, I haven't had a chance to try them and I don't like to travel with makeup that I've never used because when I'm traveling, I just want to look my best. I want to feel my best. So I like to bring things that's like my top shelf, top tier makeup at the moment. So let me know down below in the comments if that's something you would like to see. There's this smaller one and it opens like this and I love how compact this is but it comes with six different brushes. Powder brush, which I'm gonna take all the plastic off of them. I should probably wash them, but I'm not going to. Judge me all you want. So this is a powder brush, foundation brush, which is just like a cat paw brush. I personally like a buffer brush, which I think the other collection that I bought includes. Crease brush. I prefer one that's a little bit more tapered rather than a flat, blunt edge. But you know, I bought this, so a part of me must have been interested in it. Liner and brow. Guys, I'm a little sick. My allergies are acting up, so. I can't really speak. Normally I can't speak, but now I can't speak and I sound really nasally. So it has an angled brush here and then a spoolie on the other end. Shadow, which she got all messed up in the packaging. Um, so I might have to wash her and reshape her. Smoothing concealer brush, which is a really nice size. And look how cute this cup is that my girlfriend Bailey bought me. I don't drink out of this. I leave it in my office and I put it next to my vanity because I don't know every morning I look up and I put the brushes that I'm using in it that day and I just read it and it says exhale the bullshit and that's just really the shit that I'm on. I'm exhaling the bullshit today because quite frankly I'm just not in the mood. Really love this case. It's just like a little portfolio of brushes. Mesh section where you could put other stuff. All the different brushes, which again, I will tell you what each and every one is. Blurring powder brush. I would use as a stippling brush if I were to do contour underneath my foundation. Nice and it feels very luxe. Soft touch blush. I don't need to tell you this, but just because something says to use it one way doesn't mean you need to exclusively use it that one way. I use brushes for various things, whether they're labeled for that thing or not, just full disclosure. Buffing foundation brush, which this is way more my type of vibe in terms of applying foundation. So I think we're gonna use this today. I love this, a bent liner brush, probably do an eyeshadow flicked wing with this. Precision crease brush that has a little bit of an angle to it. All over shadow brush. So those are all the brushes. I love how they all match. I put them all in this cup and they look super cute. I also have these eyeshadow brushes that I received a really long time ago. They've just been sitting in my vanity and I'm tired of hoarding things. Love it, cause it's pink, it's silver, it matches the cup and there we have it. Like I said, let's go ahead and use my NARS Skin Deep. This is gonna be a really long video cause I'm doing a lot of talking, but I'm gonna take a pump of that big blending brush by It Cosmetics. I'm gonna dip it in, work it into the brush on this plate. I know, don't look at the other side. And I'm just gonna stamp this, pat this, press this all into the skin. I do like this brush. It didn't soak in as much product as I thought it was going to. Really nice light coverage foundation that's comfortable on the skin. I don't know why I hated this for the longest time. I just felt like it brought a lot of like texture to my skin, but I've been really liking it recently. This is a relatively new product, but I've been loving it. It is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector, and I'm in the shade 1N. This has been my concealer, my foundation. I kind of just like really use it for everything. I'm just gonna use it to highlight the sections of my face that I like to highlight and just bring a little light to. I wanna see how this brush spreads this because I really like this concealer, but honestly, I've been using it a lot with a beauty blender. I just like brushes better. Granted, it really depends on the product. Sometimes it depends on the product's texture, whether you need to apply it with a little bit of dampness that is a beauty sponge, or if you need a little bit of dryness with a brush. But if I could just use a brush all the time, I would. It's just something, it makes me feel like I'm painting my face. It like brings out more of the artist in me. I don't know, right in here where I'm a little dark just so I don't look as tired. I'm very tired and my allergies are like really acting up. <laughs> Anyone else? I didn't have allergies until I turned like 28 and I thought I only had allergies in the spring, but then this year, oh my God, my fall allergies apparently have come back with a vengeance. I like it applied better with a sponge, but this brush is really nice. I like how flat it is. I like how it spreads the product nice and evenly. And I also like how I can really get in here. It Cosmetics makes really nice brushes. They always have. I recently listened to a podcast that interviewed Anastasia Beverly Hills. And since listening to that podcast, 
podcast. I've been nothing but back and intrigued with her story, with her products. Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I know that she uses a bunch of different products along with this. Like she'll use her Brow Wiz and kind of like perfect the brow, but let's be real. I'm not gonna use four different, I mean, I wouldn't put it past me. Medium brown. Of course, it was half off, so you know me. I cannot resist. Really nice angled brush. This quality looks so much nicer than the It Cosmetics. I'll tell you that right off the bat. But it has a spoolie on one side and then an angled brush on the other. And I'm just gonna pray. Say a little prayer. And honestly, guys, if you ever are a little bit worried about how much product is gonna come out, use the back of your hand just to take a little bit of product off. So I'm gonna brush my brows up and just fill them in. I don't want the brows to look too done. I like an undone brow. I think I need to finesse it. I do like it, like the product itself is nice. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer on my concealer brush that we just used to just shape the brows a little bit better. I think I just need practice. And I honestly think I need a table where I can put my elbow down because right here you can't see, but I'm kind of just like floating. I think the color is perfect for me. And I'm just gonna make sure that I seal this tightly so that it doesn't dry out. This is relatively new. I have owned it for a couple months at this point. I don't really reach for it that much just because I love my OG contour stick more, but this is a bronzing stick. This is from Merit's Bronze Bomb and I'm in the shade Clay. I'm just gonna use this to help add a little bit of definition to my face. It is very emollient, so it blends beautifully. I really do like it. To blend in, like I told you guys, I don't use things all the time. Um, I, I don't follow rules a lot of the time. So this is the Unstoppable Powder Brush. I'm gonna use this to just blend this guy into the skin, see how that goes. What are you guys doing for Halloween? I love Halloween. It is my absolute favorite holiday. I have been filling all of my spare time in with Halloween things. I read, I just finished this book. If you watched my vlog, you know that I started this. I literally finished this book in three days. It is Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. It's basically the story of Jack and Sally after, you know, The Nightmare Before Christmas, the movie, the Halloween movie. It's basically the story of them after they get married. It's so clever. It's so clever. I read it in three days and I can't remember. Honestly, the last time I read a book that quickly, I think was the Hunger Games, like when they first came out. And when was that? 2012, I think? Was it 2012? Yeah. Because I was in college and I was still living on campus. If you grew up loving The Nightmare Before Christmas, I think you're really gonna love the book. Growing up, I always thought that Sally needed her own story. You know, the queen, the pumpkin queen. She needed a voice, but it was all about Jack. And you know me, I'm all about women empowerment. It's basically just about Sally and how she becomes her own and embraces Becoming the Pumpkin Queen. It is so good, highly recommend. Now I'm reading another book. I'm just adding a little bit more underneath my jaw. I think it's called The Wicked Deep. And honestly, I think it's like a spin on the Sanderson sisters because it's about three witches that are called the Shaw sisters. I don't know. And about how they come every summer to this town and like take the souls of boys. Very interesting, I'll let you know how it is, but I'm already on like chapter seven and I started that book yesterday. So I'm really just enjoying the Halloween season to its fullest. I'm gonna be simple and use that same brush, Tower 28 in the shade Rush Hour. My favorite blush at the moment. It's a great like transition season color. Still bright and happy like the summer, but there's something autumnal about it. That's such a weird word. If you watched my vlog with Mike and I, and when I, we did a, we had a home, what am I saying? We did a home goods unboxing. And I said autumnal like three times. And it's funny, cause in the background, you just, like I said autumnal, and then in the background you just see Mike like mouthing. Maybe I am saying it weird. I like this. And I really, really like this brush. This might be my favorite brush from this whole haul. I mean, granted, I didn't try a lot, but so far, this is just really nice because I could apply bronzer with it. I can apply a little bit of blush with it. It just bursts it really nice. And it's not picking up the foundation underneath. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and like gently go over the center of my face where I'm gonna powder. And then no surprise here, but I'm just gonna take my Givenchy Prism Libre powder just because it is the best. And I'm gonna use it on this little puff that I bought on Amazon. I will link it down below. 
Did Too Faced discontinue this palette? I just looked online and I didn't see it, but this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I bought this a really long time ago and I've never used it and I wanted to use it today because these just feel very autumnal. Don't be upset with me, but I feel like you can find shadows like this in a different eyeshadow palette. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. This is why I don't buy eyeshadow palettes because on a day-to-day -day basis, I personally do not wear eyeshadow. My eyeshadow palettes last me a lifetime and then I don't like to buy new things and waste things. You guys know, I like to buy things if I know I'm gonna use them. So I don't buy them and then they discontinue them and I just refuse to feed into the overconsumption cycle. Let's go into Milk Chocolate, which is just like a very neutral beigey brown. I'm taking it on this fluffy brush. I'm gonna focus it above my pupil. I brought you in a bit closer and I'm using my own reinforcements. I don't like these brushes. They're a little stiff and they're not blending to the best of my ability to blend because I can use a better brush. So I'm gonna use my own brushes just so that I can judge this eyeshadow palette fairly. I'm gonna take the Morphe M575 back into that milk chocolate shade and I'm gonna focus it, yes, so much better automatically right above my pupil and then bringing it in towards the inner corner and then out and then I'm gonna lift. This shadow is really pretty. I like it. It's a good neutral brown, but I'm just gonna flick underneath to kind of like lift the corner up to give me a little bit of an eye lift. Sephora 19. Semi Sweet, which is more of like a taupey shade. So this was the first shade. Now we're going one step a bit deeper. Focus this on the outer crease right here. Very pretty color. Wow. I like this a lot. And now I'm going to bring it in softly, but I'm trying to really focus it on the outer third of the eye to give that kind of like elongated look. And again, I'm building up the outer third with that darker shade. Whisk it in like that just to give a little bit of depth and then bringing it in towards the nose. Sorry, the light's changing because I'm sitting by a window. And a, a nice cloud just hopped over the sun. This is also like very good for my mental health. I've been sitting by a window and reading in the morning. I just, natural sunlight will really help. Clean blending brush. And I'm just gonna whisk that all together. I'm gonna kind of take it over the lid. Hazelnut. I don't know what this is, but it's a bit of a fluffy brush. And I just wanna like go over all of that just to help blend it out and give it more of a peachy, like autumn vibe, a terminal vibe. See what that just did? It kind of just like brightened the lid. Bring some underneath. Champagne truffle shade kind of gives me like an iridescent like moon. Ooh, that's pretty moon color And I'm gonna pop this on the inner portion of my eye. Ooh, it's very frosty. That's very pretty I like that because it blends out like it could be really frosty or it could be more muted Ooh, I like yeah, that's very pretty. I obviously want to use that liner brush this brush right here Dark brown truffle, you can find this in any eyeshadow palette, I'm very sure. I'm gonna pick it up with this brush and I'm just gonna like flick, oh my God, yeah, that's a good brush. I'm just gonna flick it out and make a shadow wing, which is honestly my favorite kind of wing. Mike just asked me if I'm awake, it's 11.58. I would hope I'm awake. <laughs> He's so cute though. Okay, that went on and 0.2 seconds. Oh my God, this is so good, this brush. In towards my inner corner, but I, I don't want it to be like a thick wing. I want it to be really, really light. Same dark brown. I'm gonna take it on a pencil brush. This is a Firma 205. And I'm kind of just, I'm gonna scooch in. It makes me think of that. Oh my God, when we were in Vegas, me, Mike, and Brian, we kept saying that, um, what's that sound that's like all over TikTok? And it's like, excuse me, I'm just gonna scooch in right here. Like that's literally in my brain. Every time I say scooch or every time I like snuggle into someone, I'm like, I'm just gonna scooch in right here if you don't mind. Uh, shh. But I'm taking that on pencil brush and I'm gonna just like bring it underneath the eye, like connecting it in the outer corner like that. See the difference between this 
and this. This one's a little bit more open. I like either one. This gives more of like an Egyptian vibe and I'm just in a goth, a little bit of a goth mood. Another Firma brush I've been loving is this 301. It's kind of just like a very small flat brush and I've been using this to highlight sections of my face. The pinker shade right here. I pop it right in here to give a little bit of life. And then I do like to take my finger and just like blend it because I find like sometimes it leaves too harsh of a little line there. I really love this for highlighting my face. I've been really into the Charlotte Silver Pillow Talk. It has a bunch of different shades in here. I think there's like four or so. Yeah, there's four. I've been really loving this champagne shade. It's very flattering on my skin. So I'm going to take that and just do what I've been doing. What I just did, but like with this shade because I just think it's a little bit more flattering for my skin tone. The brow bone and then again I like to blend it out a little bit. I'm intrigued to see how this goes with powder. This is blurring powder. Do I want to try it with bronzer? Kind of. I'm gonna take my NARS Laguna powder bronzer. I've been just like really into this lately which I was gonna get rid of it and then I've just been going through things, trying them, seeing how I feel. Um, I don't really know if this is like really doing anything. Oh it is. Mm, I don't love this for this. I'm gonna grab this angled brush and do the same thing and I just feel like this is gonna do a better job. Yup, it is. And I'm gonna pat this over top of where I put that Merit cream, Dolce Vita, which is a powder blush. And I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat this over top just to give a little bit more life to the cheek. So pretty. Take what's ever left over, put it down my nose, pick up a little bit more. Morph Continuous Setting Spray, Jumbo Size. I did buy this at Ulta as well. Oh, I got overly excited about the chocolate bar eyeshadow palette and I forgot that I had this Cupid's Arrow by Nabla. I read amazing reviews about this cream shadow stick. I wanted to try this and then it went on sale, it was half off and I got it in arrow number two brown. The shade that I wanted, I don't remember the name of it, but they sold out. Okay, we're gonna try and use this in the waterline, but it's just like a rich, oh my God, yeah, look at that. Oh my God, yeah, okay. I'm gonna use this in the waterline. Oh my God, I'm so happy that I bought this. Like swiping this on my hands is so freaking creamy. It's like unreal. I'm gonna put this in the waterline, deepen the wing a bit with this just like to go over it yeah that's nice okay i'm gonna line the lid with this <gasps> guys this is so good i'm curious to see how this stays in the waterline we just took it like to a whole different level i love this i mean granted i it's not gonna keep a point forever which is sad, but it's so creamy and it's so emollient. Got this as a sample from Rare Beauty. I think it was from Sephora. I'm very picky with my mascara and you guys know if I find something and I love it, I tend to not stray from it. But I finished my Lancome Lashy Doll. I already don't like this spoolie. It's just like too bristly for me. It just says black mascara. It says made in Italy, which you know if it's made in Italy, I love it. It just doesn't make them as long as I want them to be. It's not terrible. It's just not my favorite. I'll use this, but I would not buy this, to be honest. I bought this on Amazon, and I thought this was the shade that I love, but it's actually a different shade. So this is the Koki Retractable Lip Liner. You guys know I love Dusty Rose, but I bought it in Warm Nude. So pretty. And I only do it on the top and on the very bottom, just because I find that if you line all the way down and all the way in, it kind of like makes your lips look older. This color, beautiful. Oh my God. I also bought this during the Ulta 21 days. I haven't opened this yet, but this is by Estee Lauder. I've never, no. I tried an Estee Lauder lipstick for the first time that will be featured in my declutter video. So stay tuned and watch that to see if that one made it, made it out alive, honestly. We'll keep it a little Halloween spooky. See if it made it out alive. <laughs> but this is a lip balm that was on sale. Again, I, for some reason, am very into spending a lot of money on hydrating balms, which is ridiculous. But this was half off. I think I spent 15 bucks on it. Color Replenish Lip Balm. <gasps> this packaging though. I would spend the money on this packaging alone. Look at how pretty that is. Can you see how pretty that is? Oh my. This is giving me Dior lip glow vibes. Let's just put it on, because I have to. 
Yeah, that's pretty. It gives a little bit, oh my guys. Okay, I'm gonna let, the, oh, and it's a magnetic closure. I love this. It's so funny, cause I was on the phone with my aunt yesterday when I went for a two hour walk and she was talking about these lip glosses. I love them. I've been a big fan of them for quite some time now, but this is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And she was telling me that she bought the shade Ice and I bought the shade Ice too. Best lip glosses, hands down. I'm gonna put a little bit in the center, even though I don't need it because the, Estee Lauder one is like so hydrating, but let's just do it together. I'm gonna plop just like right there. Mm -hmm. And like right there. I just wanna put a little bit of um, brow gel. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills, keep it in the ABH family since I did the lips, the lips. I'm just, I'm staring at my lips. This is my vibe guys. This is my vibe of a lip, something simple something that looks like my lips, but better. I'm just really over, I'm really over lipstick, which is so freaking weird. I am not pressing hard with this because this clear gel, I will tell you right now, if you did a good job of filling in your brows, this is not your friend because if you press too hard or apply too much, it will take away some of the brow product that you use to fill in your brows. But it is your friend if you do a shit job of filling in your brows, because again, it will take away some of the product. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get myself ready, and I will be right back to give you the, my final thoughts on all of the awesome new products that we tried today. You know, I was gonna go and do my hair, but like, I just wanna wear my hair like this, honestly. I just washed it last night, I slept in it, and this is how it dried, and this is how I'm feeling, because I just feel like my brows and my lips are doing the most, and I don't need my hair to do a damn thing. I am so happy with the newer products that I tried in this video. I honestly can't think of a single thing that I didn't like. I mean, I'm loving the brow pomade. My brows look big and bushy, just how I like them. My lips feel like I just got injections. They not only look plump, but they feel plump. And honestly, I just think that this lip combo, I will put all products down below so you know exact details so that you can shop them. But this Estee Lauder, amazing. I honestly might like this more than I like my Dior 001. Love this, which is no surprise. I'm just happy that I'm happy with the color, the Koki Retractable Lip Pencil. And this in ice. My aunt and I were talking about it yesterday, like I said, and she said that it was clear, but it is milky and it is good and I love it. And again, this is just my kind of vibe of a lip. Mixing high and low, mostly expensive though. That Estee Lauder, I think it retails for like 32, 36 bucks full price. This brush, amazing. I'm amazed by this brush. The brushes from the It Cosmetics collection, I have to say, I thought when I saw them, I was like, do I need them? I was thinking about returning them, but honestly, I'm very excited. Did I need them? No, I have so many brushes, but I think I just need to do a deep dive declutter of all of my brushes and get rid of a bunch of stuff. The brow pomade, the brush that I used with it really, really, really wowed me. I'm very happy with how this makeup came out. Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you intrigued by any of the products that I tried today? If you are, which one are you most intrigued by? Do you own any of the products that I mentioned in today's video? If you do, let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Subscribe, ring the bell, and I genuinely hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.